Hello students, welcome everyone, welcome to your favorite channel Vedantu NCRT Solution. In this channel you will get a detailed description and the solution of each and every NCRT questions and we will help you to understand it better so that you can score in your examination and practice all these problems. Now in this session we are going to learn how to check whether the given function is 1, 1 or 1, 2 because in the previous exercise we have studied how to check the given function is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. I hope that is clear. We were checking about the relation in the previous concept. Now we are talking about functions. So, see children, if it is, if the given function is 1, 1 and onto, 1, 1 function is also called injective function, onto function is also called surjective function. So, try to understand if they are telling you check whether the given function is injective, then they are asking you to check whether the given function is 1, 1. If they are asking you to check whether the given function is surjective, that means they are asking you to check whether the given function is onto. So don't get confused with this, very important. Now let us try to read the first question of your exercise 1.2. Show that the function r to r, where r is defined as set of all non-zero real numbers. So your domain is set of all non-zero real numbers and that function is related or that function's codomain is Again, a set of non-zero real numbers. So, R to R is your function here. It is defined from domain which contains all non-zero real numbers and codomain also contains non-zero real numbers. Yes. Now, they have given a function f of x is equal to 1 by x and we need to check whether this is 1, 1 and on 2. In other words, we need to check whether the given function is injective and surjective. If it is injective and surjective, we call that function to be a bijective function. So please remember this children, we are going to use this in the sums, so very important. Now, if f of x is equal to 1 by x children, just observe, you call a given function as 1, 1 only when, if you are able to substitute, if you are able to substitute, remember, when you are taking f of x1 and equating it, it with f of x2, means for no two real values, the function has the same codomain value, correct? That means whatever value you are relating, it's single value only. That is the definition of 1, 1, right children? Only one element should be related to one element of the domain, co-domain and every element of the domain should be related. So if you are substituting f of x1 is equal to f of x2, if you are able to get x1 equal to x2, then only we call the given function to be 1, 1. Check here, we will get 1 by x1 is equal to 1 by x2 when you substitute. In that case, if the reciprocals are equal, correct? then the number should be equal. So, you can write x1 is equal to x2. So, you can write f of x is 1, 1 or you can write it is, it is injective. It is injective. It is an injective function. Yes, this is clear. Now, let us check for on to function children. And in this question, they have given a second sub question also which I have not read because we will come to that later. First let us try to solve, check whether the given function is 1, 1 and on 2. Now when you are checking for on 2, just observe here, if you are able to substitute f of x in the function of f, f of x, in the place of x if you are able to write in terms of y and when you are simplifying if you are able to get this. See children, for 1, 1 this is the condition, for on 2 this is the condition. If you are able to prove this, it becomes very very easy and simple. So f of x if you can write it as y, like after writing x in terms of y on simplification if you are getting f of x as y, then you call the given function to be on 2 function. Very important, try to remember. Now, if I am supposed to solve. Just observe here. I will take f of x is equal to 1 by x. Correct. You all know. But what is 1 by x equal to? 1 by x is basically y. So what are you going to substitute in the place of y? 1 by x is y. So x becomes 1 by y. So here it becomes 1 by 1 by x. Do we agree children? 1 by 1 by y. Because in the place of x, I am substituting. Look at this. X is in the denominator. In the place of X, I am substituting 1 by Y. So, are you getting it as Y? Yes. So, we get F of X is equal to Y. So, you write F of X is on 2. F of X is on 2. Is this clear? Understanding children? Easy and simple. So, we have proved that the given function is 1, 1 and on 2 and you can write the function is, what is it children? Function is a 
bijective function under the condition the domain is set of all non zero real numbers and the core domain is also set of all non zero real numbers yes now let us try to solve the second part of the question what are they telling you if just observe here if you are able to if you are able to replace the domain okay initially the function was the set of non zero real numbers to set of non zero real numbers if you are able to replace this by n now this is your second sub question where the co domain remain as, remains as it is but you are changing the domain as n in this case try to understand children what happens here if it is from n to r in that case let us first check for 1 1 if you take set of natural numbers for every set of natural numbers where f of x here instead of taking f of x i'll consider g of x children why because you know we have already taken f of x for the previous one where the domain and codomain was different so g of x is 1 by x here see children when do you call it as 1 1 as i told you if g of x 1 is equal to g of x 2 you call the given function to be 1 1 so in that case 1 by x 1 is equal to 1 by x 2 you can write x 1 is equal to x 2 right so your g of x is 1 1 function so i can write g of x is 1 1 right children g of x is 1 1 i hope this is clear and easy for you yes now check for on to children okay it is a 1 1 function yes because you take any natural number one by natural number will belong to the codomain r correct it is there so there are no two elements for which you get the same element in the codomain that is the reason we are writing 1 1 now check for on to if i am taking as g of x is equal to 1 by x observe children do you have any value do you have any value in the domain for which the codomain has the value like 1.2 1.3 1.4 no because your domain is set of natural numbers so if you try to understand g of 1.2 or g of x equal to 1.2 sorry not g of 1.2 g of x equal to 1.2 if i am writing that means if there is an element in the codomain which is 1.2 1.3 1.4 2.1 2.2 2.3 .2 you don't have a corresponding element in your domain for that correct so if g of x is equal to 1.2 there is no x that belongs to r for which for which g of x is equal to 1.2 right children so what you write hence it is not on to yes so this function is not on to is that clear so here we have solved the first question of your ncert of the chapter relation and function second exercise we have easily solved the first question i hope this was easy and simple i hope you have understood this please like share and subscribe share it with your friends so that even they can solve all these ncert questions easily and understand these to score more in your examination thank you